Since the start of 2015, SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment has donated $2 to conservation charities every time a SeaWorld Parks Extra is booked here in the UK. By making holidays extra special with dining options, VIP tours or up-close animal encounters, we can give back to the natural world. Here are just some of the projects that we've supported so far. So there's lots of reports saying that children are really disconnected from nature and from wildlife and how important it is for them to be able to engage with this, both for the physical and for the mental health. The Wild Winter Project is this wonderful opportunity for young children to just engage with UK species and UK wildlife. We give them torches so they can go and explore and they have to search through logs and look under rocks to see what animals they can find. The funding we've received for the Wild Winter Project has been essential. We couldn't put it on without this extra funding. And we've been able to fund a activity where the children can actually make the bird feeders and take these homes as well. So the project is aimed at preventing the extinction of five species of sturgeon and a species of salmon that only live in the Caspian Sea. Poaching and illegal fishing is rife and these fish will be extinct within four years unless measures are taken to prevent this. Our overall goal is for sturgeon and salmon to be naturally spawning in rivers in Azerbaijan and throughout the Caspian, unhindered by illegal fishing and pollution. First breakthrough was actually to get the government to agree to address this problem. Subsequently, we've achieved a banning of the import of all gill nets. The funding has facilitated coastal gill net cleanup programs and the removal of hundreds, if not thousands, of nylon gill nets from river mouths in Azerbaijan. Without this funding, we would not have had this kickstart to the project that was so important and that has been to engage local people in Azerbaijan through volunteer programs where they can see the problems that, that they face in their habitat destruction. It really has um, given the project momentum. are under enormous pressure as a result of human activity. Anything we can do to understand one where coral reefs might be in the future and ways that we can restore and conserve coral reefs are really important. The, the goal of Project Coral is to develop uh, protocols so that spawning events can happen in a very planned and predictable way. We're fairly convinced in saying that we're the first institution in the world to predictably spawn corals in a completely closed system. breakthroughs we've had so far is one uh, inducing the spawning event but really importantly be able to do in vitro fertilization in captivity. So the long-term goal can we have multiple spawnings in any one year? The funding is um, enabling us to expand our efforts, increasing the number of species we're working with. The funding will be used to build new research systems so we can also accelerate the speed of our understanding. This is just the beginning. With your help, we can support more vital conservation projects to protect wild species and wild places for years to come. Mm -hmm.